Hey guys, how you doing? JP Saricolia here. Now, the popular belief would be that statue collecting is a very expensive hobby, and it is partially true. It is expensive. However, there are companies in this market, in this industry, that also cater to a wider audience, 95% uh, of the collectors, and they produce quality products with great prices. One of those companies is Diamond Select. They've been in business for a very, very long time. Gentle Giant is another company that also has been in business for a long time. And now, of course, Gentle Giant is part of uh, Diamond Select. So they're producing stuff for Star Wars, for Marvel, and other licenses. So in this video, I want to break down some of the stuff that came out for Star Wars recently, stuff that is on pre-order now. I want to really give you the good and the bad, what I like and what I don't like, and ultimately let you know if I think you should get this or not. So in the next couple of minutes, stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm here at the Gentle Giants uh, website, and I will have the link in the description for those who are interested so you can come and take a look. And as you can see, um, I would say that I'm not a big fan always of Gentle Giants website. It is better than it used to be, but, um, you know, it, it's not as good as, you, you know, I wish it was. It's not in this case like SciShow's website. But um, here you can see these are the new things that were that went on pre-order actually last week. We have this new bus. Of course, this, a lot of these things were announced last year at New York Comic Con. A lot of this stuff was already you know, pre-announced, so we have seen this. Uh, which is kind of cool but now of course it's now on pre-order so we got this uh the phantom menace dart mode legends in 3d dimensions but this is a uh, half scale very nice it's going out it's 175 which is very affordable for the scale if you compare this to i would say size show definitely it's good you have this star wars rebels sabine ran mini bus of course if you follow the rebels tv show this is one i also went on pre-order 120 dollars we have this new one, Star Wars The Mandalorian, uh, with the best car um, armor uh, premiere collection. There is uh, the one that, would, you know, in this case, the original also is already on pre-order. It's 175, which I think is a fantastic price. This is a 17 scale. And we have this, The Mandalorian, uh, with the, in this case, of course, with the best car armor. This is a San Diego Comic-Con ex special exclusive. And this, of course, because we, we don't have San Diego Comic-Con, but of course it's now available online it's 120 dollars i really like this one but as you can see you have the features the stuff that is actually for sale uh and stuff that is on pre-order of course a lot of dc stuff a lot of marvel stuff and of course they have a blog the instagram all the stuff the best sellers so they have a couple of things now i want to start with one of the pre-orders that we have right now and this was also, to me, a highlight from New York Comic Con last year. This is the Star Wars The Clone Wars Ahsoka Tano Premier Collection statue. 175. What I really like about these pieces is that they maintain the price. 175 is really affordable. It's a 17 scale, which is not big. It's a Bowen scale. Ahsoka returns the heroine of Star Wars Clone Wars makes her premier collection debut with this 17 scale statue, welcoming her uh, convoy friend Morai with raised arm. Uh, this approximately 11 inches statue is sculpted in a realistic style. It comes packaged in a full color box with a certificate of authenticity. The sign is sculpted by Gentle Giant Ltd. And as you can see right there, I want to say that it's too so complicated. Does it have as much of, um, based on this picture, of course, of shading or anything? Of course, it's based on the animated show, which I would enjoy. I really enjoyed the Rebels show. So it's now, I would say, super complicated. If you're, a, a, in this case, a fan of Ahsoka, definitely this is one that you are going to really like. Um, so I think it's good. The price is perfect. Uh, you're limited to two per account. Of course, you can order anywhere else. You can go to Big Bad Toy Store or any other store. Uh, definitely, it's going to be available. Another pre-order they have right now is for Star Wars The Force Awakens Ray uh, Dreamer Premier Collection Statue. This was also announced last year. It was showcased, I think, San Diego Comic Con, New York Comic Con. And I would say... Um, the price is 150 it's a good price i wouldn't say that i'm too crazy about this piece to be honest with you if you come to look at it i like the concept i'm just not a fan of the paint job or you know it looks so plasticky and i think that's one of the problems that i noticed with gentle giant with these pieces with some of the rate statues and some of the you know in this case the more modern renditions of characters or just in the human rendition of characters i just don't they don't seem right it seems you know i'm not going to deny it that the sculpt is fine I don't know, the paint job in the end doesn't seem as good or as detailed. 
So it goes back to what people say is you get what you pay for. Of course, other company, you would expect more detail. It's not bad. I know for some people at this scale, it's fine. What you need something to display. If you're a big fan of Ray, I really like the concept. And I hope that the paint job is better on the prototype. It just also she seems so dark, maybe because she lives in the desert. I don't know. She looks like, you know, this some something that is just not right about these. It, it kind of looks plasticky to me. But uh, I do love some of the details and actually what they were trying to achieve with this. It's just the paint application in some angles is not as great. Um, and I think that was the same problem that the mini bus had. That's the reason why I didn't get it. Now, you come closer, it looks fine. Um, but, uh, you know, it just looks plasticky. It doesn't look as realistic. And, and that's something that, you know, some people are going to point out. So, yeah, that to me is a disappointment. Now, if you go to the Mandalorian, as you can see, there are a lot of products that are right now on pre-order. So that's one thing about Gentle Giant. Sometimes the pre-orders can last forever. And that's some complaint that a lot of times people had. Of course, now with, uh, in this case, Diamond Select uh, on board of this, uh, you, I expect for this to get better, uh, you know, for you to see this timelines to be shortened like they used to. But of course, it's something that you, a lot of people are weary when they think about Gentle Giant. But here you have, you know, they originally they have the Mandalorian uh, Legends in 3D Dimension bus for $200. Really love this bus. It has a lot of detail. This is a half scale, which is pretty large for what it is. And I really love that. Definitely, you look at the pictures. I think there's only one picture, but man, that looks pretty good. It's neat. The detail is great. So if you're a big fan of the Mandalorian, I am a fan of the show. Definitely, this is one that is going to be good. The edition size is going to be 1,000, which is pretty fair. And definitely for this price, designed by Joe Allard, and it's called by Gentle Giant Studios. Very, very cool. Now, if you're going back and we look at the other stuff they have, of course, they have this, the Mandalorian, uh, the mini bus, like I was mentioning, which is $120. I really love this mini bus. Really like, I'm kind of torn into this and the newer one because I like them both. I even like the fire effect right there with that resin. It's, it looks pretty neat, but definitely it has nice shading. Very good. I don't think you can really mess it up with this armor, uh, but it's very nice. I think this is one. That is a must have. Really like it. And of course, the price point is good. $120 minibus. Of course, I remember when minibus were like $60, $70 or $50 bucks for a minibus. But that's been years ago. And this is a 1.6 scale. This is an actual 1.6. So, um, I don't know. I'm a big fan of this minibus by, by Gentle Giant. They always come with great quality. Of course, this is the new minibus that went uh, for pre-order this week. And we have the Mandalorian. Uh, it's a 2020 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. So definitely it's going to be more limited. You can buy two. That's the maximum per purchase. And, um, uh, you know, as you can see, it's a 1.6 scale as well. But look at this. Really love it. Of course, you know, I don't know. If I, I like I like the other one, but I, did, I like this one too. So I think they both going to look so great. And there's a lot of fans, of course, of, you know, in this case, Gentle Giant Minibus, Star Wars Minibus. So this is going to be highly sold out. So, you know, I, I would recommend you to jump on it as soon as you can if you're a fan before, it, it, you know, it sells out everywhere. Um, look at that. Really like the back, even the effect. And this is sculpted, but it looks like real, you know, in this case, clothing. All of this is sculpted. And that's something that Gentle Giant is so good at that. As a company, they have always have great 3D impressions. Sometimes the paint job might be the, the only downfall in some of the pieces, not all of the pieces. But for the most part, the, you know, the, the sculpt is always on point. So definitely these are great. Yeah, oh, right there, limited to only 3,000 pieces, which is actually pretty large if you come to think of it. Uh, but of course, you know, I, I would say this is a fantastic piece. Uh, another one that you should add if you're a big fan. Now, moving into the premiere collection for The Mandalorian, you have the, the in this case, the original that came out. This was, to me, a highlight last year at, at New York Comic Con. Really love this piece. Um, I would say the paint job on this photograph might need some work, but I even like the Stormtrooper helmet right there in the back. It's pretty cool. In this case, the base is simple, um, but you know what? That's fine. A really nice piece, definitely. Uh, and a lot of people would say, well, it's nice, but the, I would prefer a 1-4. And I heard a lot of those comments. To me, it's a fine. I understand if you collect 1-4, go for the 1-4. If you collect something less, 
it would be fine and you know i remember back in the day people were not afraid to it seems like it's things change so rapidly in this hobby i remember when people were not afraid to mix match uh, scales and that's fine as long as you know how to do it because also there is an art to it but um definitely this is another one i really like it i really like it uh, i think the paint up at least on this photograph uh, it needs to be brightened you know i i don't know it just maybe just the the photograph uh, i just it looks a bit dull uh, i need some color and here is the full piece uh in with the new beskar uh, armor and uh, it really looks great uh, again it's a one seven edition size three thousand also pretty large this one it's brighter of course because it has the silver in the armor so uh it looks brighter and i do like the base actually i do like a simple but it's you know it's just what you need it's a one seven scale perfect size for this um, and it goes with the collection that they have because what they produce with this full statues, they're all one seven. So it's going to fit so perfectly with it. Uh, and I really like that. Very nice piece, very well done. And of course the price point 175, of course, you know, you know, we, we, you would prefer something cheaper. Always everyone prefers something cheaper, no matter what. But I do believe that this is a fair price for the product and for the scale and for the times, you know, right? Everything is going up in price. I think um, Gentle Giant and Diamond Select are maintaining their price point. They want to be affordable. They want to please, you know, in this case, the customers. And here is Sabine Rent's mini bus. I really like this one. $120 It's, it's 1500 uh, the edition size at scale 1.6, of course, part of the same line. Really like this one. Um, the colors are vivid. If you have watched the show, you know it's vivid. I, I seen some people having complaints about the face, and I do agree some of that because it doesn't look, it's a different variation of Sabine, but it doesn't look like Sabine in the TV show. What I really love of that, about this mini bus is the fact that you have interchangeable heads. As you can see right there, you have the regular head and you can, you know, she can carry in this case, her helmet and her arm so i think this is the part that's going to be interchangeable i'm really not crazy about the seam right there maybe it needs to be fixed hopefully it's strong enough and that'll be it uh but man that looks great definitely this is a nice one love the weapons so you can change things you know in this case utility giant is not stranger to do this type of um uh, mini bus where you have interchangeable parts to create different displays they have done it that with a lot of the clown troopers with um they did that in the past i have you know it's been a while since i've seen those but uh they have done that so that to me is super cool 120 dollars, i think is a really good price for this and um it is super super nice i really like this it really increases what this bus line and they you know they have so many different things like for example this the rise of the skywalker another sid trooper with the you know in this case the red suit another one also that is on pre-order very nice we like it i like this in this case this troopers in red while i play um battlefront 2 but man I, you know this is the thing gentle giant has so much stuff right now for star wars and so many great items like and another one right here a new hope luke skywalker i really like this one actually they did a fantastic job with the the portrait this is a very nice one again this is part of the premier collection they have man fantastic this one is also uh, uh one, again one seven doesn't have a uh, right there a edition size but it's three thousand it seems that they sticking with the three thousand and so on and so on you have the right skywalker kylo ren man they have so many pieces it's, it's it's amazing what they're doing and they're not afraid to pump them out but I want to finish this with the Phantom Menace Dark Mode Legends in 3D Dimension bus. Um, I really like this bus. Uh, and of course, Dark Mode has been done so many times by so many companies. But it's a character that sells no matter what. Whether it's SciShow, whether it's whoever, whether it's Accent, whoever. You know, everyone knows that Dark Mode is going to sell. People love Dark Mode. They love the character. And I really love this bus. Uh, some people might point out that the base is kind of strange you know the way the base is located if you look at the picture they might say that it might be too top heavy um that could be a concern i'm not so sure about that uh maybe that has some weight on it but man love the detail really well done gentle giant knows how to do the 3d uh, you know, in this case, dimensions on every piece, and they're the masters of it. Of course, that's the reason they have worked with uh, the MCU. They have worked with DC. They have worked with so many companies. It's producing so many films, and because they're 
masters of that. And of course, that's reflected on their collectibles, as you can see right there. And this is no exception. It looks fantastic, looks terrific. It, it, the, even it, in this eyebrows and stuff like that, everything was good. You can see his skin flows. Uh, and for this price, this is even cheaper than the Mandalorian, uh, which is $200. Really like this one. Uh, 1000 I think it's a fair number. It's a good number for uh, for this edition size. Uh, designed by Joe Allard, who has been doing a lot of the designs for these pieces. And sculpted by Rocco Tartamella. So, man, these pieces are terrific. And... I'm telling you, uh, Gentle Giant is, knows how to please the crowd. Well, guys, there you have it. I would say the Gentle Giant uh, and Diamond Select together, they're really a powerful combination. Of course, some people are going to dismiss some of these products because they think, well, these are cheap collectibles. At the end of the day, it's not how much you spend on a collectible, it's if you're happy with your collectible. It's about you and your collection. It doesn't matter what other people think. It doesn't matter how much you pay for it. Ultimately, if you're not happy with it, you're not going to keep it. You're not going to be satisfied whether you spend $1,000 on a product or whether you spend $150. At the end of the day, it's about being happy and content. You know, and sometimes, you know, the little things are sometimes better than the bigger things. Of course, people are going to make comparisons. Sometimes it's just a justification of how much you spend and people trying to justify their expenditure. Everyone is entitled to do whatever. But I do believe that in this case, this company is producing something that is cool. Not everything is perfect, but it's cool. And I like that. But what is your opinion? What do you think? Do you like Gentle Giant? Uh, surely I've been a fan of Gentle Giant for years. I collect many of the mini bus. I know they have quality. They're great products. So I highly recommend it. But I would like to hear your opinion. My friends, God bless you. Take care. And I'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.